Hi everybody, welcome to Sook Vibes. In today's video, we are going to cover 25 questions related to the topic, what to do in case of an accident, which falls under the main topic of what to do in special situations. So let's begin. Please start the film to familiarize yourself with the situation. Let's start the video. We are outside, we are on the Langstrasse. We are driving at 80 km per hour. What we see here, the speed limit is now 60. We are reducing our speed. And there is an animal who has jumped in front of us. Let's play once again. So we are driving at 80 km per hour. We are outside. There is a speed limit of 60. So we are reducing our speed. And what we see over here, there is an animal who has jumped now. And also, please have a look in the center video. There is no one who is behind us. It's also very important to notice over here. Two problems. Why should you reduce your speed now? So you should reduce your speed because of this animal. Because of the speed limit, you have already reduced the speed because of speed limit. Because of the red car, no. Because of the animal, yes. What should you do if it's no longer possible to avoid a collision with wild animals? Now, this is very important thing to know. If it's not possible for you to avoid collision with wild animals, what you have to do? I maintain my direction of movement. Yeah, you have to maintain your direction of movement. Like hold your steering wheel tight and avoid any kind of swerving effect. I always take an evasive movement wrong. I brake as hard as possible. This is important so that damage can be reduced. Let me also show you here in the ebook. For example, here you can see, if a collision cannot be avoided, hold the steering wheel tight and maintain the driving direction as far as possible. So that's what we are using over here. So you maintain your direction of movement by holding your steering wheel tight and you brake as hard as possible. At which time of the day do you have to reckon with increased game pass? At which time of day you have to consider increasing game animals or wild animals? At dusk and at dawn. Whenever it's dark, you can expect more wild animals. Why is it dangerous to carry on driving past this extent scene? So what we see over here, an extent has been carried out. There is an Rettungswagen, Rettungdienst, emergency vehicle, ambulance. And you see police officers and there is a pedestrian. Because the traffic movement situation is unclear. Yeah, this is clear because there is so much going on in this scene. So traffic situation is not clear. Because pedestrians can be overlooked, yes. This can also happen. Behind this vehicle, there could be pedestrian who may just walk over. Because secondary accidents can occur, yes, secondary accidents can also occur over here. All the situation can be possible because the situation over here is not so clear. A vehicle driver has slightly damaged another vehicle and unlawfully leaves the scene. What consequences could this have? A withdrawal of the driving license or driving van? This is correct. In order to undergo a medical psychological examination, this is also correct. A fine or imprisonment? Yes. Let me also show you in the ebook. For example, here you can read anyone who leaves the scene of accident without authorization does not wait for a reasonable period of time, or after having left the scene of the accident with justification, does not subsequently allow all the findings to be made, risks losing his or her driving permit and commits a criminal offense. So this is a criminal offense. And in this case, anything could be done to you as a part of punishment. Please start the film to familiarize yourself with the situation. We are outside. We are on autobahn. We are driving at 120 km per hour. And if you see over here, something has happened near the tunnel. We have put our hazard warning lights on. And there's an accident you see over here, right? Let's play it once again. So we are on autobahn. We are driving at 120 km per hour. It's raining. Here you see the tunnel sign. And here you can easily see like there's an accident. And there's also a triangle which has been placed in order to warn others like there's an accident. And we have put our hazard warning lights on. What's the right course of action now? I reduce my speed further. This is right to do because by doing so, if there are some pedestrians or some people crossing the road, you can avoid further secondary accident. I continue driving just as before. This is wrong. 
I drive as far to the left as possible. Yes. So you should maintain a safety distance, safety lateral distance from the vehicles which has been collided. So by doing so, you will maintain a side distance. How can you get help on an autobahn? In order to get help on an autobahn, you can dial 112 or 110 or from the autobahn service areas or you can use an emergency call box. Let me sh show here. For example, you can call the police by ringing 110 and the ambulance by ringing 112. These emergency call numbers can be made with a functioning mobile phone even without a network card. Even if your phone is not having any SIM card or network card, but your phone is functioning, so you can call these numbers. If it should be necessary to seek help on the autobahn, you can see from the arrows on the guidepost where the next emergency telephone is. So you might have seen those delineators or the or these posts with the black arrows, right? So they mark where the next emergency telephone is. Please start the film to familiarize yourself with the situation. So there is a deviation in the route. What we see over here, there is a police vehicle, there is a sign for the tunnel, an ambulance, and the accident. Let's play it once again. So there is a deviation in the route. What we see over here, there is a tunnel sign, there is a police vehicle, ambulance, and two cars can be seen which have been collided with each other. Two problems. What is the right course of action in this situation? I break hard immediately? No, you need not to break hard immediately because now this scene has been secured. I take a photograph of the scene of the accident? No, I continue driving as before. Yes, this is the correct thing to do. You have an accident on a rural road. How do you secure the scene of the accident site? I turn on my hazard lights immediately to warn others. This is important. If necessary, I warn other vehicles by using hair signals for example. This is also correct. I set up the warning triangle in a well visible position about 100 meter from the scene of the accident. Yeah, this is important. You have to do that. For example, you have to secure the scene of the accident and you have to place this warning triangle. So if you are driving on autobahn, you have to place this warning triangle at a greater distance from your vehicle so that it is visible to other road traffic users that something has occurred here. For example, here it is written. On main roads and any other roads with fast traffic, the hazard warning sign must be placed easily visible at a distance of around 100 meters. In addition, if necessary, you should also warn other vehicles, example, using hand signs. You experienced a breakdown outside of a built-up area. Your car is situated on the carriageway behind a bend in the road. What is the correct in this situation? I have to place at least one well visible warning sign about 100 meter behind the vehicle. This is clear because it's outside built up area. So speed is 100 km per hour. So that's why you have to also place a warning signal, a warning sign about 100 meter behind the vehicle. I should wear a high vis vest. Yes. So high vis vest is as this lady is wearing. So this is high vis vest. So it's, it's visible to other road users from a distance. I have to switch on my hazard lights. This is also correct. Please start the film to familiarize yourself with the situation. Speed limit is 30. We are driving at 30. We are good to go. The road is not so good. Behind us, there is a red car. We are on the priority road and there is an animal, you see? And now your distance with this animal is too short. And moreover, just behind you, there is a red car. Let's play it once again. So the speed limit is 30. We are driving at 30 km per hour because the road is not so good. And behind us, there is a red car which is following us. It's very near to us. And suddenly, there is an animal on the road. Problems? What's the right course of action now? I swerve to the right. This is wrong. If you swerve to the right, then you may fall into the pitch. I swerve to the left. No, because there is a truck coming. I keep a tight hold of the steering wheel and keep it pointed straight ahead. Yes, because in this situation, the condition is unavoidable. If you apply emergency brake, then what will happen? If the person has not noticed you, it could cause rear end collision. So keep a tight hold of the steering wheel and keep it pointed straight ahead. You are involved in a traffic accident. What are you obliged to do? I have to move promptly to the side of the roadway if damage is minor. If the road damage is minor, that you have to move to the side of the roadway in order to avoid any kind of obstruction to the other road users. I have to provide my name and address upon demand to those entitled to this information. This is also correct. 
I have to inform the other persons involved that I was also involved in the accident. This is also correct. So here it is. There is a 10 point checklist. So persons who are involved in a traffic accident must stop immediately. Secure the scene of the accident. Pull over to the side of the road if there is only a little damage. Ascertain the consequences of the accident. Help the injured such as providing first aid emergency call. Indicated that they are one of the parties involved. Give their names and addresses on request. Produce their driving license and vehicle registration certificate. Provide details about their legal liability insurance. Stay at the scene of the accident until all the important findings have been made. So these are the important steps that you have to do in case you are met with an accident. Several deers run across the road in front of your vehicle. What must you reckon with? What must you consider? The herd may come back and cross the road again. This could happen because they are animals. There could be stragglers following the herd. Yes, there could be one animal who is left behind and now it is following the herd. There's no reason to expect any more animals. This is wrong. So you could expect anything could go wrong. You could expect there could be stragglers or there could be possibility that herd may come back and cross the road again. You are involved in an accident. What document must you present to the other person involved in an accident if requested? So you have to provide your driving license as well as the registration certificate part one or the operating permit. So here you have you can see that you have to produce your driving license and vehicle registration certificate. The liability insurance contract. No, you need not to provide the liability insurance contract. But of course, if they ask you for the details, then you have to provide that. But there's no need of handing over the contract to them. Please start the film to familiarize yourself with the situation. So we are outside. Speed limit is 30 because of the Strasse Chardon. The road is not so good. We are driving at 30 km per hour. Behind us, there is nobody. And the animal pops up. See, animal has just come over the road. If you remember, this question is similar to the previous question. But in the previous question, there was a red car following us. But in this situation, there is nobody who is following us. Let's play it once again. So 30 due to Strasse Chardon. The street is not so good. So we are driving at 30. We are good to go. So animal has jumped into the road. Animal has popped up. And in the center mirror, you can see there is nobody who is following us. I perform an emergency braking maneuver. Yeah, here you can perform because there is nobody behind you. I steer to the left. No. If you steer to the left, there is a truck. I hold the steering wheel straight and firmly. This is correct. Did you notice the difference? For example, if there is a vehicle following you, then you cannot perform a emergency braking. But if there is nobody behind you, then you can perform a emergency braking. So this is very important to distinguish between this question and the question that we have seen previously where there is a red car following us. You are the first person to arrive at the scene of an accident with injured person. What should you do first as a rule? The first step you have to do, you have to make the scene of the accident safe. Check the seriousness of the injuries, drive to the next telephone box and call the rescue service. This you have to also do, but they come later on. First, you have to make sure the scene of the accident is a safe. For example, in 10 point checklist, so you have to stop immediately and secure the scene of the accident. This is important. So you have to follow in this order as these points are written over here. You have damaged a parked vehicle. Though you have waited for a reasonable length of time, there is no sign of other driver. What must you do? Leave your name and address on the damaged vehicle and immediately report the accident to the police. This is correct thing. You may leave the scene of the accident without taking further action. This could be a criminal offense against you. It is sufficient to give your name and address to a witness who was not involved. This is also wrong. So you should leave your name and address on the damaged vehicle. And you also have to report the accident to the police. What are you obliged to do if you are involved in a road traffic accident? I have to provide aid if anyone has been injured. Yes. Stop and determine the consequences of the accident. Yes. Secure the scene of the accident. Yes. These points, they are already in the 10 point checklist that we have done. That you have to stop, you have to secure, and in case if it's required, you have to also provide first aid and emergency services. You are the first person to arrive at the scene of an accident with injured person. In which order do you proceed? So the first point, if you remember, you have to make the scene of the accident safe. So this is the order. Make the scene of the accident safe, give first aid call, and then call the rescue service. So this is the order that is being followed according to this 10-point checklist. So here you have to secure the scene of the accident and then you have to provide the emergency services, 
and then you can call that accident has been occurred. Under what emergency numbers can you call the police and emergency services in Germany? This you have to remember. This is 112 and 110. These are the numbers that you can use in case if there's a accident or if you want to call to a emergency numbers. Your vehicle has collided with wild animal. What's the right course of action here? So you notify the police. I load the animal into my vehicle. This is a criminal offense. I secure the scene of the accident. This is important so that it can avoid danger to other road traffic users. How could a dangerous situation rise? By having lights turned on during day? No, this couldn't cause a dangerous situation. Through vehicles at a standstill? Yes, if these vehicles are not feasible to you. Through failure to maintain a suitable speed? Yes, for example, if you are approaching a bend with a high speed and you are unable to maintain a suitable speed, this could cause a dangerous situation. At night, how must you secure a vehicle which has broken down at a place where it constitutes a danger to other traffic? Switch on the reverse lights? No. Place the warning triangle at sufficient distance. This is important. Immediately switch on the hazard warning lights. This is also important. So you have to switch on your hazard warning lights to inform others and you have to place the warning triangle at a sufficient distance. What must you do if game animals suddenly appear in the full beam of your headlights? So if you remember from the previous video also where we have tried to understand how to use the lights. So full beams, they can cause dazzling effects to the game animals. So first thing you have to do is sound the horn and brake and immediately dip your headlights so they may be able to cross the road. Otherwise, in full beams, they can feel dazzled. You are driving on a new road through a woodland area. What must you reckon with? So there's a new road and now it is through a woodland area. So earlier there you has to be a forest, but now there is a new road. An obstruction caused by an accident involving the game animal? Yes, because animals, they don't know yet that there is now a new road. So they are more used to crossing the road. It might happen that somebody has caused an accident over there and now there is an obstruction because of the game animal. There's no reason to expect accidents involving game animals on new road. Like if it is in the woodland area, then you should expect game animals accidents. Game animals unexpectedly crossing the roadway? Yes, this is correct because it was a forest area and now there is a new road. So due to the habit, game animals can still use that road. So in this video, we have covered 25 questions related to what to do in case of an accident, which was the main topic of what to do in special situations. Thanks for watching. If you have liked my video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're interested in any particular topic, please feel free to write in comment section. Take care. See you next time.